Welcome to the series that takes a closer look at the highs and lows of movie poster design, unpacking what makes them shine or miss the mark entirely. In this episode, we're diving into the Batman universe. Get ready to uncover the visual secrets behind the Dark Knight's most striking posters. Our first poster is The Batman. The focus of this design is on the iconic bat symbol, which alone is enough to grab the audience's attention. By 1989, during the year that this film was released, the bat symbol was already ingrained in pop culture, thanks to decades of Batman's presence in comic books, TV shows, and animated series. And so here, the bat symbol speaks for itself, making this a memorable design for the first studio-produced Batman film. Next up, let's take a look at Batman Begins. The composition of this poster is interesting, with Batman's silhouette at the center where he is surrounded by a swarm of bats, symbolizing both his transformation and the terror he strikes into the hearts of Gotham's criminals. The silhouette of Batman is instantly recognizable, and the bats around him create an aura of mystery and power, emphasizing the dual nature of his character, part man, part legend. The use of light and shadow also ties in with the film's themes of fear and identity, making Batman appear larger than life, even though we only see his outline on the poster. This poster for The Dark Knight is a brilliant example of how to convey chaos and intensity. The image of Batman standing strong in front of a burning skyscraper with the bat symbol seared into the building in flames instantly communicates the high stakes of the film. The flaming bat symbol is a powerful metaphor, it suggests that Gotham is literally and figuratively on fire and that Batman must rise to meet the destruction. To add to this, the tagline at the top of the poster, Welcome to a World Without Rules, enhances the sense of anarchy that the film's antagonist, the Joker, embodies in this film. Next, this alternative poster for The Dark Knight brilliantly captures the chaotic energy of the Joker, transforming the original design into something far more unsettling. The addition of the graffiti feels like a violation of the poster itself, much like the Joker's presence disrupts the balance of Gotham. By overlaying the Joker's chaotic energy onto an otherwise controlled, heroic image, this poster perfectly captures the core conflict of the film. Order versus chaos. This poster from The Dark Knight perfectly captures the chilling essence of the Joker in a single image. Unlike typical character posters, it blurs much of the Joker's appearance, keeping his face out of focus and heightening the sense of mystery. The spotlight is on the scrawled, why so serious, smeared in blood across the glass, an unsettling detail that instantly reflects the Joker's dangerous nature. This question, which became iconic, embodies his mocking attitude toward Gotham's order and Batman's stern seriousness. Overall, the poster brilliantly encapsulates the Joker. He's playful and menacing while still leaving enough questions unanswered to keep the viewer on edge. Moving on, this poster for The Dark Knight Rises is immediately attention-grabbing with the tagline, The Legend Ends. These three words signal a dramatic and possibly tragic conclusion to Batman's story. In the foreground, we see Batman's shattered mask lying on the ground, which is a bold choice from a design perspective. It symbolizes the fall of Batman, suggesting that the invincible hero we've come to know is facing his greatest challenge yet, possibly one that will break him. The broken mask also evokes a sense of defeat and vulnerability, contrasting with the unstoppable force that we often associate with Batman. Next up, this Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice poster uses a ripped newspaper effect to visually communicate the clash between the two heroes. The torn imagery suggests conflict and division, which is exactly what the film centers around, a monumental battle between Batman and Superman. On one side, we have Batman, portrayed in a grayscale image, symbolizing his dark, brooding persona. Here, the lack of color reinforces Batman's grim outlook, his darker approach to justice, and the shadowy world he operates in. On the other side, Superman is bathed in bold red and blue colors, associated with hope, truth, and his iconic symbol as Earth's protector. The most clever part of this design is the ripped Superman symbol in the center. It feels aggressive, as if Batman is tearing through Superman's identity. And this is an excellent visual metaphor for the movie's central theme. Batman perceiving Superman as a threat, someone whose power needs to be questioned. Now let's take a look at the Lego Batman movie poster. The central image of Batman leaping forward with his cape flying behind him creates a natural division in the poster's color scheme. This bold action pose aligns perfectly with the playful tagline, 
always be yourself unless you can be Batman. It suggests that Batman's larger-than-life persona is something to aspire to, adding a humorous contrast between his intense stance and the light-hearted tone of the movie. This poster for the Batman is dominated entirely by shades of red. The red color not only grabs attention, but also conveys a sense of tension, anger, and danger, perfectly aligned with the intense tone of the film. To add to this, the silhouette of Batman is imposing and shadowy, blending seamlessly into the background. The only feature that breaks through the darkness is the faintly glowing bat symbol on his chest, which serves as the focal point, pulling the viewer's eye into the center of the image. What makes this design truly special is the way that it captures so much emotion and narrative with so little. Just a silhouette, the rain, and a single color. Looking at another poster from the Batman, the question mark at the center of this design is the most iconic symbol associated with the Riddler, and here, it's formed cleverly by the silhouette of Batman's head. This merging of hero and villain in a single visual metaphor speaks to the tension between them in the movie, symbolizing the mental game that they will play against each other. Overall, I consider this one of the more unique designs from all of the films we have seen so far. Next, let's look at this poster from The Suicide Squad. The most interesting part of this design is how the large brushstroke X's at the top form the eyes of a skull face, while the characters below are arranged in the shape of a smile. And so, this visual cue hints at the chaotic, offbeat nature of the movie and its characters, who are anything but conventional heroes. While the neon color palette, blending bright pinks, greens, and purples, enhances the sense of anarchic fun and danger that defines the movie. In essence, this poster is as unconventional as the squad itself, and the use of the face imagery ties into the Joker's chaotic influence over the entire narrative. Finally, taking a look at the Joker 2, this poster with the close-up shot of Lady Gaga and Joaquin Phoenix, both fully immersed in their characters, draws viewers to think about the relationship between them. The tagline, The World is a Stage, combined with the title, Folie a Deux, which translates to Madness Shared by Two, adds deeper layers of meaning. This not only hints at the psychological spiral that the characters will share, but also alludes to how their madness plays out publicly. Overall, this poster sets an expectation of a film filled with tension, complex relationships, and unsettling performances. And so that wraps up my reaction to the best and worst movie posters from the Batman universe. Do leave a comment below and let me know which poster is your favorite, and consider subscribing if you're interested in future episodes of this series.